ఉంటారుగా వెల్కమ్ టు అనదర్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ షేక్ హ్యాండ్ విత్ లైఫ్ ఐఎమ్ నరేంద్ర శర్మ ఇన్ మై ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో ఐ షోన్ యూ ద టెస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ హైపోథసిస్ వెన్ ద డేటా ఈస్ గివన్ ఇన్ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రపోర్షన్స్ now in this video i'll show you the testing of hypothesis for two proportions to test the difference of the proportions is significant but as usual make sure that you have subscribed shake hands with life youtube channel and hit the bell so that you will get the notifications of my latest videos so if two samples are drawn from different populations then you might to know the difference of the proportions of success is significant or not in such type of situations the null hypothesis will be h a such that p1 cap equal to p2 cap it implies the two proportions are same and the alternative hypothesis will be h a such that p1 cap not equal to p2 cap it implies two proportions are different either p1 cap less than p2 cap or p1 cap greater than p2 cap here p1 cap is the proportion of success in sample 1 and p2 cap is the proportion of success in sample 2 now let's see the test statistic in this case the test statistic is given by the equation z equal to p1 cap minus p2 cap in the numerator divided by in the denominator square root of p1 cap into q1 cap divided by n1 plus e2 cap into q2 cap divided by n2 here p1 cap is the proportion of success in sample 1 and p2 cap is the proportion of success in sample 2 and q1 cap is the proportion of failure in sample 1 which can be calculated as 1 minus p1 cap and q2 cap is the proportion of failure in sample 2 and that can be calculated as 1 minus p2 cap here n1 is the size of the sample 1 and n2 is the size of the sample 2 now let's take a practical problem to understand the application of hypothesis testing in case of testing the difference of proportions a drug research experimental unit is testing two drugs newly developed to reduce blood pressure levels the drugs are administered to two different sets of animals it means tested on two different group of animals in group 1 350 of 600 animals tested to respond to drug 1 and in group 2 260 of 500 animals tested to respond to drug 2 the research unit wants to test whether there is a difference between the efficacy of the said two drugs at 5% significance level. Efficacy implies the effectiveness of a drug for medical treatment. Hence, for the given problem, can you conclude that the effectiveness of the two drugs is different at 5% significance level? Now, to deal with this problem, first state the null and alternative hypothesis and the null hypothesis would be h0 such that p1 cap equal to p2 cap it implies the efficacy of two drugs is the same and the alternative hypothesis would be h a such that p1 cap not equal to p2 cap it implies the efficacy of two drugs is different now calculate the proportions of success and failure in two samples and the proportion of success in sample 1 is given by p1 cap equal to 350 divided by 600 
this will come out as 0 0.583 now the proportion of failure in sample 1 which will be given by q1 cap equal to 1 minus p1 cap and this will come out as 1 minus 0 0.583 and this will be 0 0.417 so this one is the proportion of failure in sample 1 now the proportion of success in sample 2 is given by p2 cap equal to 260 divided by 500 this will come out as 0 0.520 and the proportion of failure in sample 2 is given by q2 cap equal to 1 minus p2 cap and this will be given by 1 minus 0 0.520 and this will come out as 0 0.480 here n1 is equal to 600 the size of sample 1 and n2 is equal to 500 the size of sample 2 now replacing the values of p1 cap q1 cap p2 cap q2 cap n1 and n2 in the equation of z stress strain and calculate the value of z and after processing all calculations the value of z comes out as 2.1 now it's time to test the hypothesis here h a is two-sided hence apply the two-tail test at five percent significance level the rejection region using the table of area under the normal curve for z distribution is defined as r such that mod of z greater than 1.96 now our calculated value of z is 2.1 which is greater than the critical value of z and hence the null hypothesis will be in the rejection region and therefore the null hypothesis is rejected and we can conclude that the efficacy or effectiveness of two drugs are different significantly now how to define the rejection region for two-tailed test was the video of two-tailed test in hypothesis testing the link is given in the i mark above and in the description below that's it if you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues switch to shake hand with life youtube channel for more videos Subscribe it and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest videos. Visit shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video.